in Churchwell Road in Belmain in Dublin 13. And we're going to walk through house number 35, a large double funded four bedroom property with exceptional living spaces. Further appeal of this space, you have a designated parking spaces, a private work garden, and further to that, there is a cultural garden as well. So come with me and uh, we'll walk you through inside the space. In the key location here with Belmain, you're close to everything, so you're well serviced, you have public transport links. Your walking distance of schools, easy reach of M50, easy reach of Clare Hall Shopping Centre, Donnelly Shopping Centre. So, tons of uh, amenities close to hand. But wait till you come inside and check out this uh, this large home. So you're stepping into what is a very very large entrance hallway here. Really nice feature within the space. You can see on both sides sets of double doors that lead into your living dining space and equally into your kitchen dining space as well. Further, um, with this hallway, you do have access to a large guest room. You see that's plumb for utilities, your tile flooring there as well. So we start off on this side, coming in imme immediately to the right hand side, you're into a large living room. Nice feature uh, electric fireplace here. Large uh, floor to ceiling windows in the front. So this house flooded with natural light. So you have large proportions of living accommodation, large windows as well. Clever design that the current owners incorporated was adding this petition wall here. If you didn't have it or didn't want it, you could look to take it back in. But what it does offer is that flexibility of living space here. So currently in use as a kids' playroom, the double doors and the window overlooking the private rear garden. But this easily could be uh, that additional din dining space or your, your formal dining space if you require that. So really, really nice uh, proportions here. Lovely finish of flooring. And you have the nice dark wood laminate flooring here. And then we're back across the hallway. And again, lots of light coming in with the door with the um, panels either side, the glazing. And then if you pan around there, you'll see the stairwell. You have that large window as well. That gives you that uh, plenty of light coming in. So you're stepping into your large, again, kitchen dining space here. So both your living spaces span the depth of the property and this house is quite wide. So you'll see that when we walk through upstairs, proportions are great. Lovely tile flooring, lovely finish of modern wall and flooring in interior, your built-in appliances, you have your dishwasher, your oven, your hob, you have your fridge freezer there as well. And then this leads directly out to the primary garden here. So stepping out into your garden space immediately, you have your patio area. So a nice seating area here, predominantly laid in lawn, uh, large trampoline there for the kids, so it gives you a good idea of the space. You have your garden shed for storage, and at the very end of the garden is that gateway that leads into that additional um, communal garden just for residents here, which is really, really nice. So if you pop upstairs, and we show you the rest of the accommodation. So we've made our way onto the first floor, onto this exceptionally large landing. And right behind me on the stairway, you'll see that large window. So this whole area flooded with natural light. On the large landing area, then you do have access to your large hot press. And just above us here, you do have that access to the attic area for additional storage. So on this level, you do have four exceptional uh, bedrooms, all with your built-in storage as well. So this is the first of your double bedrooms here. Nice bright room again, built-in wardrobes. Nice size bedroom overlooking your rear garden there. And then back onto the landing across to the front of the house. You just see here is your hot press that caters for your additional storage as well. Into um, another bedroom here located to the front. Again, great size double, currently laid out as a single room. You do have your built in storage then as well, and you're overlooking the front of the development. And then back across the hallway. So, again, the size here is fantastic. It's uh, that's the one thing about this house, just the overall width and the depth, you get great proportion, which is fantastic. So that flow of space is uh, both ground floor and uh, up on first floor as well. Then you're into your large family bathroom there. So front facing, you have your window there for natural ventilation and light. You have your bath, WC, wash and basin with your toilets around there as well. And back to the front of the property here. Again, great size double bedroom. Lovely feature in these properties, you have your floor to ceiling windows. You can kind of see all of that natural light coming in and lovely finish with the built-in wardrobes then as well behind me here. A nice uh, neutral finish with the decor throughout. 
and within these homes lovely finish with the doors as well so uh nice uh, nice wooden tone there nice and warm and you're into the back of the property then again to what would be the master bedroom here so again a great size bedroom plenty of built-in wardrobes and you do have the access then to the ensuite here as well and then the ensuite there you have your wc your washout basin and your walk-in shower and just from here you get an idea as we spoke about outside at the end of the rear garden there is the access to that enclosed garden space there so you'll just see that behind where that gate is and uh, no, we will point it out to you when we walk to uh, the garden space so you just get an idea from here where that space is located and that uh, concludes the upstairs accommodation so just to summarize this is 35 churchwell road belmain dublin 13 a large four bedroom double fronted property coming to the market code in 475 approximately 142 square meters b3 energy rating and for further information go to kmproperty.ie